Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with authentication tokens. Our viewer is struggling with refreshing data after a refresh token successfully updates their JSON Web Token, or JWT. Let's dive into the details of their challenge. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue of refreshing data after a JWT refresh token, we need to ensure that our application correctly handles the response after a token refresh. Let's start by understanding the flow when an access token expires. When a 401 error is encountered, your interceptor attempts to refresh the token. After successfully refreshing, you need to retry the original request. However, we also need to ensure that the data on your page is updated accordingly. In your interceptor's response error method, after refreshing the token, you should handle the response properly. Instead of just returning the promise, you can use a callback to update your data. This is crucial for ensuring your dropdown reflects the latest data. To refresh the dropdown without losing the selected state, you can implement a method that updates the dropdown data without reloading the entire state. This way, you maintain the current selection while updating the data. Finally, ensure that your drop-down component listens for data changes. This can be achieved by using Angular's two-way data binding or by manually triggering a refresh of the drop-down data when the new data is available. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To refresh data after a JWGT refresh token, you can use the timeout service. This allows you to retry the HTTP request after refreshing the token. Here's the updated code for the auth interceptor service. It checks for authorization data and handles response errors appropriately. Remember, timeout returns a promise, making it easy to wrap your HTTP call within it after refreshing the token. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To refresh data after a JDT refresh token, consider injecting the root scope into your auth interceptor service. Once the token is successfully refreshed, broadcast a token refreshed event. Next, set up a listener for the token refreshed event in your view or controller. This listener can then trigger a call to get list of company names to update your model. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This solution involves creating an auth interceptor service that manages JWT tokens and refreshes them when necessary. 
It automatically adds the authorization header to requests and handles response errors. When a request fails due to an expired token, the service attempts to refresh the token. If successful, it retries the original request. If the refresh fails, it logs the user out and redirects to the login page. This implementation is effective for handling requests, but may need further adjustments for multiple simultaneous requests. The code is adapted from a GitHub repository. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.